Hey guys, thanks for watching Beyond Science, it's Mikey Chen. According to what we learn in school these days, English chemist and physicist John Dalton, who was born in the late 18th century, is the man credited by modern science with the development of the atomic theory. However, it might be surprising for many people today to know that the concept of atoms was actually formulated by an Indian sage and philosopher nearly 600 years prior to the birth of Christ, or 2,500 years before Dalton achieved the scientific breakthrough through during his time. This Indian sage and philosopher was known as Achayu Kanad, and some consider him as the actual father of atomic theory. Achayu Kanad was born around 600 or 800 BC in Prahasitra, located near Dwaraka in present-day Gujarat, India. His real name was actually Kashyap, and was the son of a philosopher named Oka. Since childhood, Kashyap displayed a very keen sense of detail, and was fascinated by the most minute things. When he was only a young boy, he once accompanied his father on a pilgrimage to Prayaga. He noticed thousands of pilgrims in the town were littering the roads with flowers and grains of rice they offered at the temples by the shore of the river Ganzis. The tiny particles attracted Kashyap's attention and he began to collect the grains of rice from the ground while everybody else busied themselves with offering prayers or bathing in the Ganges river. The crowd eventually noticed his peculiar behavior and wondered why he was so fascinated with the grains of rice. When they asked him about it, Kashyap replied that though a single grain of rice may seem worthless on its own, a collection of hundreds of them could make up a person's meal. This meant a collection of meals could feed a family, and ultimately, mankind. For this reason alone, he believed that a single grain of rice was just as important as all the riches in the world. After this incident, people started calling him Kanad, as Khan in Sanskrit means the smallest particle. Kanad pursued his interest with the unseen world and dedicated his life to conceptualizing the idea of the smallest particle. He wrote down his views and eventually passed passed on his knowledge to others. People began calling him Achayo or the teacher, hence the name Achayo Kanad, which means the teacher of small particles. Kanad is believed by many to be the first to have realized the idea of an indestructible particle of matter. The theory occurred to Kanad while he was walking with food in his hand and he was breaking it into small pieces. He nibbled at the food in his hand until he was no longer able to break it down to smaller pieces. It was then that he realized that he could not divide the food into further parts and conceptualized the idea of a particle that could not be divided any further. He called that indivisible particle parmanu or anu, which literally means atom. Kanad thought of the atoms as minute objects that are invisible to the naked eye and considered it indestructible and hence eternal. He also theorized that a parmanu had an inherent urge to combine with another parmanu. He also explained that combining two anu belonging to the same class would create a duenuka or binary molecule. The binary molecule would contain similar properties to the two original Parmanu it was made of. Kanada suggested further that it was the different combinations of Parmanu which produced various types of substances. He also brought forth the idea that atoms could be combined in a variety of ways to produce chemical changes while in the presence of other factors such as heat. He used the blackening of earth pods as well as the ripening of fruits as examples of this phenomenon. To teach his ideas about the atom and the nature of the universe, Kanad founded the Vaisheshika School of Philosophy. He he also wrote a book called Vaisheshik Darshan which presented all of his research. Several members of the academic community, particularly in India, recognize Kanad as among the sages of ancient times who made significant contributions to modern science. Some of them have even taken steps to have his name included in mainstream education. However, recognition of Kanad's Anu theory as the first plausible atomic theory over Dalton's scientific approach remains controversial. While many recognize Kanad's perspective on the physical structure of the universe as an impressive metaphysical philosophy, some maintain that it does not qualify as a scientific theory because it is not at all empirical. Kanad's idea of the atom was not attempting to rationally explain an empirical law, it did not carry an explanatory burden and was just a speculative thesis. Hence, many argue that it would be outrageous to place it in the same league with existing modern scientific theories about atoms. Though the widely accepted atomic theory today is substantially different from the one Dalton presented, Dalton's theory is still considered to be the first scientific theory of atoms because it was attempting to rationally explain an empirical law. Although the atomic theory of Kanad may not be considered empirical, and while its official place in the field of modern science is still heavily debated, its philosophical and cultural merits cannot be disputed. Though his theory of the atom was abstract and leaned towards philosophy and logic rather than personal experience or experimentation, it is praised even in modern 
modern times as a brilliant and imaginative explanation of the physical structure of the world and for largely agreeing with the discoveries of modern physics. Personally, I love topics like this because I think we, we don't give our ancestors enough credit. Because if you think about it, in recent history, everything is documented so much better than it was back then. And throughout the thousands of years of war and conflict, so many great books, writings, documents have been lost. So we really don't know what our ancestors really came up with. So there could be literally hundreds or even thousands or tens of thousands of modern creations that our ancestors have already conceptualized even back then. For example, we all think Galileo invented the telescope, but there has been evidence suggesting that the telescope was actually invented thousands of years ago or even millions of years ago if you believe in prehistoric civilizations. Anyway, I thought this topic was really interesting. If you guys liked the video, please hit that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.